Hey everyone, it's Alita. And I'm Paul. And we are Paul's Hand Turn Creations. It is the 2nd of March, and I cannot believe that March is already upon us. Um, you're going to see me looking over here occasionally. I'm trying something with our website as far as a live feed. Let me know if you can hear me and everything is good. Um, hi Elise, glad you could be here tonight. Um, tonight what we're going to do, I've, I've actually been able to pour. So I poured three blocks and we're going to do a test with um, a secret compartment keychain. So that should be fun. Um, I'm just looking over here just to see how things look and looks pretty good. So, um, hey Jody, uh, thanks for coming on. Um, so let's see, today's March 2nd. Uh, hello, Denise. And uh, Paul went to his surgeon on Monday. If you're on our email list, I gave you a brief little uh, update about that. So I'm going to let Paul talk about that for just a second. Yeah, we went to the surgeon on Monday afternoon and uh, they decided to uh, lessen my restrictions a little bit, but still not full speed. So uh, I still have to uh, be careful of what I do, but they 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 kind of gave me a semi-green light, let's put it that way. So uh, we're still going to be uh, slow and easy, but uh, we're getting closer to... Uh, we're getting closer to uh, the finish line. Well, I don't know if it's the finish line, but it's uh, at least we're not on a caution lap anymore. So, yeah. Um, hey, Linda, thanks for joining us. Um, so, yeah, so I, I'll be honest, Paul has turned a couple pieces, um, but we're not taking any custom orders. Um, he has to still figure out, you know, things in the shop. He was able to, uh, to what, sharpen all of his tools just to get ready. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but we're not taking any custom orders until at least April. We already have, I think there's three orders that he's going to have to do first. Um, so it might be even closer to the end of April for custom orders. Um, but it's good news. He started back a little bit at his other job. Um, he can't do a lot of pushing, pulling, reaching up, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, so let me just check. We the also need to restock the shop here a little bit. We, yeah. Uh, we got a little bit of resin the other day, and then we got some more today, and we need to uh, get some more uh, hardware for some products. Yeah, my, my plan... So we got to spend some money. Yeah, we got to spend some money. Uh, tomorrow, my plan is to get an order together. Uh, not a humongous order, um, but enough so we can get some products turned and back on the website. Hey, Carol. Glad you could join us. Hi, Christy. So, yeah, tonight, um, oh, I should say, if you're watching the replay, throw in a comment and let us know where you're from. Uh, we always like to know that. Um, so what I'm going to do is start off... Uh, it's going to be two-stage test, and I'm going to just give you an update of how this came about, I guess. Um, so a few weeks, probably two, maybe three weeks ago, someone had messaged me and asked me um, if our secret compartment keychains were waterproof. And honestly, we've never even thought of that, or even no one's ever asked us, so we didn't know. Um, so... I thought tonight would be a fun time to do a little test. So what I've done here's this is my this is my secret compartment keychain. It's not for sale. This is mine. If I ruin it, it's mine. It's no one else's. Um, so what I did is I took a, a Tylenol, one of those extra strength tablets, and I'm going to just stick it inside. Fits perfect. And then I'm just going to seal it right up. I'm just going to twist it really tight. Hey Joe, glad you could show up. And here's the glass of water. So to pretend that this is like the ocean, right? There it is. I'm just gonna let that sit while I show you um, the three blocks of resin. Hi there. I'm just, these things are going by really fast. Hi Magda, um, glad to see uh, that you could join us. So the first block, I did only three blocks. I've got more resin that came in tonight, so I'll be pouring more this weekend. 
I want to get a bunch poured up that way. They're all cured, ready to go when Paul's able to fully turn to full steam. So of course, everyone loves Purple Passion because it's just a really super pretty color and it's very, um, very popular. Um, we usually sell out of anything with this purple in it. So there you go. There's Purple Passion. And the next one, this one became really popular and then Paul had surgery on his shoulders. So we couldn't do anything more with it, but everything that we made with it has sold out. So definitely um, give us ideas of what you would like to see him turn and I can write it on the block. So that is called that Lotus Flower, which is the Lotus Pink with some yellow and white into it. And it's super, super pretty, love it. Like I said, everything that we've made has been sold out of what, we, uh, what he made before. And then the last one is a new color. I think I might've got it right before he heard, did, had his shoulder surgery. It's turquoise, but I really like the way this came out because there's several different colors in it. I put a little bit of black and some white, and this is it. Isn't that super pretty? It's got like almost some teal colors into it, um, but the turquoise really stands out. There's a lot of mica powder in this. I can see it shimmer from here. You wouldn't be able to see it because of the video, but I have no idea what that name is going to ultimately be called. So if anyone has any ideas, feel free to let us know. Um, so those are the three blocks that I uh, poured and it felt really good to get back uh, pouring. It's been a couple months. Um, Elisa's Turbulence, that's a good one. Um, Mermaid Cove, I've, I've got one already named Mermaid Cove, but who knows, it, it could change. Um, and the reason I have to name these is when I put them on the website, that way I know which what people are buying. Um, so that's kind of where that is. But anyways, it seems good to be back uh, pouring again. Um, my plan is to have another three blocks um, poured this weekend. So if there's any special color combination that you think would be great, uh, let us know as well, because I'm always open to new uh, colors, the combinations and whatnot. So um, I'm just checking on my other computer and everything still looks good. I'm just testing things out over on that um, laptop because um, ultimately I think I want to put videos on the website that way people that aren't, aren't on um, Facebook can still see what we're talking about each week. Um, because we do come on generally on Tuesdays at 7. This week had to be today because we had a meeting. So now we're going to get back to that um, secret compartment keychain that I have sitting in water. And I've got to just reach behind to get my paper towels so I can wipe it off. So if you remember, I put that Tylenol in there. Hopefully it's still in one piece when I take it out. I'm just wiping off the outside. And then I'm gonna open it up. And what do you think? Do you think it's gonna be whole or do you think it's gonna be mush? Completely dry. No issues, didn't disintegrate, same as when I put it into that cup of water. So what that tells me is our secret compartment keychains are waterproof, but I'm not gonna say for how long. I mean, what was that, five or so minutes in the water? But it worked. Um, it should be, I mean, it's uh, the uh, bottom end of that is, uh, is pressed. I mean, it's pressed in the device into uh there's a brass tube in, or there's like a chrome plated tube in there and then on top where it threads on there is a rubber o-ring so that should seal it so what you did uh so uh, so really technically if you have one of those and you say you're at the beach or the lake or somewhere there's water or even i guess if you end up putting your uh you know see so your keychain into the uh, washing machine, it should still be fine. Um, and also that same person was wondering if um, she could put like a 
essential oils in the, um, the keychain. So I did do that test for her and it came out that I put essential oils in and I held it upside down uh, for five minutes and nothing came out. And honestly, my, um, my keychain smelled great. So, so it's always fun when people ask us, you know, um, will our products do this or that? And if we don't know, we'll test it out and see. Um, but I thought that was a great test for, um, you know, can put medication in there and not have to worry about it if for some reason it does drop into the water. So, um, what do you think? Are you impressed? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you know, one of these days, Paul's just going to be like all excited about everything, you know? Um, but so, so that was kind of our test. Hope you enjoyed that little test. Um, so I'm just going to show the three blocks again. And um, then that'll be it for tonight. And we'll see you next week. So there's that turquoise in black and white. And I love the turquoise that... Um, some of the black turned almost grayish, so we'll see what it looks like when he, when he uh, cuts it up. I have no idea what it'll look like. It looks phenomenal on this end, but you just never know what it's going to look like. And we had really good results with the lotus flower, so, uh, so they're saying, did you have to bribe Paul to be on the live? No. Um, I just tell him, I'm going live at 7 o'clock. Are you joining me? And now... It's just automatic. So, so there's that lotus flower with the lotus pink and yellow and white. And then, of course, purple passion, which is everyone's favorite. We do a lot with this. So you just never know what's going to look inside, um, which, is, which is, you know, I'll the fun the, part about it. I'll cut those up probably Friday and, uh, and uh, see what they look like. Uh, that's one of the restrictions I can do, so. Well, it's not really a restriction. It's not a restriction. I mean, it's one of the things I can do. It's great because the surgeon is, um, had questions about lathes and such. And so, um, so it was good, you know, and um, Paul got a new tool out in his shop um, when we were down. And to help him sharpen his tools quicker, easier. Um, so that should make your life a little bit easier, don't you think? Should be. It was kind of funny, the surgeon, uh, he did know a little bit about uh, lathes and whatnot, and he said something to the effect, uh, you got a lathe for sale or anything like that? And I really wanted to say, well, it might be for surgeon prices, it probably won't be for everyday person prices, but uh, <laughs> I'll jack up the price a little bit like they do. So. And Meg is asking, um, if you ever make a black passion, is black and white? Michael, let me know. Sure. Um, you made it black and white before. It's been a couple years though, I think, so might be time to get back at that. Um, I mean, I have my whole book of, uh, I call them recipes, of different color combinations, but um, I'm, always, uh, I'm always open to new suggestions as well. So, so that's kind of what we had for you tonight. I just wanted to show you those three blocks, um, give an update on Paul. He's doing better. Um, like I said, we're still not going to take any custom orders till probably the end of April, I'm thinking. Um, but he was able to turn a couple pieces, and but we're not pushing it. And Magda would like that in a keychain, the black and white. So I'll write that down, Magda. Um, and then, you know, just showing off that secret compartment uh, keychain, how I put the Tylenol in there and it did not disintegrate. And I put it in my cup of water for at least, what, five or six minutes. So if, you know, if you have one and it happens to drop in the water, as long as it's really uh, tight on top, you turn it really tight, which you should, um, it should be fine. So, what do you think? I think it sounds like a wrap. Sounds like a wrap. I forgot to mention that we're having a birthday giveaway on both of our pages. So if your birthday's in March, it's pinned to the top of our page where you can just uh, click that little link and then sign up and we'll put you in for the uh, March giveaway. For February, I think we had 86 people that signed up, so that was awesome. Um, and I already uh, emailed that person and sent the gift card. So uh, my son would be would put it in the washing machine. Um, I haven't tried that, and maybe I will. Maybe our next batch of clothes that go into the washing machine, I'll throw it in there and see how it does. 
Should be fine. I mean, this resin is It'll super. Probably make a heck of a noise. <laughs> probably make a noise, yeah. But um, it's the resin is so durable. I mean, I've had this for how long? Probably three years, and nothing. You wouldn't even know. It's just as shiny as it was um, when he made it. So that's my personal um, keychain. So uh, Magda washed the wallet. Well, clean money. <laughs> so. It's kind of like that show we watched uh, when people were uh, Ozark. The Ozark when they were laundering money, they called it washing the money. So. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we hope everyone has a good night. We will be back next Tuesday. Hopefully, I'll have three more blocks to show, and um, I'm pretty excited that we we slowly but surely getting back into it, and. Happy March. I can't believe we're already in, into March. So Yeah, the flowers down here are starting to uh, to bloom, actually. The daffodils and, and uh, you know, some dandelions pop, uh, and some other bush. It's a really nice bush. Uh, I don't know what it's called. There's a lot of pretty flowers. Camellia? Maybe camellia or something, or like, something that. like that. But There's a lot of uh, things are starting to sprout up. Daffodils are already blooming. So. The grass is getting green and naturally green. Yeah, so it seems nice. I mean, we're into spring right now down in North Carolina. So, all right. I hope everyone has a good night. Take care. Uh, we appreciate you following us on our page. Um, we appreciate the support and all the comments and feedback that you give us. So um, we just want to thank everyone for this, especially the journey that we've had to go on in the last couple months with Paul's shoulder. So uh, we really appreciate it. So Yeah, the bionic shoulder. Yeah. Um, Maybe that's the color of the new thing, uh, the new block, the bionic, bionic shoulder. <laughs> what colors would those be? That blue thing. No, that's not going to be it. All right. Uh, take care, and we will see you next Tuesday.